Well, I guess when you write your own rules, you can do that however you want. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you keep people in here. It was actually pretty smart. I talked to Jesse about it yesterday. He said it's more so to keep people, uh, the fighters, you know, that, that have people to support them in the building, mix it up, keep people interested. You don't want people filing out by the end of the night. So it makes sense. There's a method behind the madness. Absolutely. Very serious demeanor here. This gentleman earlier, this gentleman earlier, Nick Vasquez, I talked to him. And he actually had showed me some love. So a very good man, very nice gentleman. But I'm sure as with everyone else, once he gets into the cage, he flips that switch. And this is gonna be another fun one. So what do we got here? Nick Vasquez is a Hanzo Gracie fighter. Uh, AJ coming out of Sensi Tori MMA. A kickboxing bout at 140 pounds. 140 pounds. I mean, listen, before I get the notes up here, every every single fight tonight has just been an absolute banger, you know? And that and that's, listen, all credit to the fighters who have been finished. That is no disrespect, but we've seen a very, very fun night of fights to watch. Absolutely. I don't I don't know if there were any knockouts or stoppages at RFC 4. I think all of them may have gone to decision, but so yeah. far tonight, we had a couple of knockouts, a couple of stoppages. Like, this is an action-packed start. And just in general, man, ooh. All right, so a lot of intensity. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds. The referee in charge of the action, Chris Romulo. First introducing and fighting out of the blue corner, he stands at six foot, one inch tall, weighing at 140 pounds. Under Henzo Gracie out of Middletown, New York. Nick Cowboy Vesper. And his opponent, standing and fighting out of the red corner, stands at 5 foot 10 inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Under Century Tory MMA, out of Quorum, New Jersey, AJ Pretty Boy Morella. One thing to note about Andrew is that he tends to lean to the side when he throws strikes. Doesn't really have a diverse, uh, a wide array, I should say, of strikes. Uh, he's very fidgety with the way he moves as well, so. We should watch out for that. Oh my God. And it seemed like Vasquez's camp knew that because he starts out with a head kick. Just an insane pace. And these guys are just colliding like a couple of bulls. Yeah, I was going to say, they're calling this a kickboxing match. It's pretty much a brawl so far. I was going to say, this looks like a brawl outside of a Denny's. Or like yeah. a. <laughs> my God. And, and. You know, listen, Andrew does like that. He'll throw strikes and then circle out to the side. So to combine that with his tendency to lean in, I mean, the, the head kick is there all day. This is just a much more of a frenetic pace as they crash against the cage there. Thank God these things can hold two grown people because that would have been disastrous if not. That's the thing. I was walking around earlier, like, really, like, you, you touch the cage. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. This is a kickboxing duck. Oh. What, are they going to deduct a... I'm so confused. That was definitely, he went for a double leg slam there. The ref catching <laughs> that mid-transition mid saying, hey, this is a kickboxing match. Yeah, I, I mean, that was a, this is looking more like, again, like a Sunday to Waffle House or something. I don't know. Nice knee up the middle by Vasquez. Oh my God, he snaps his head back, but Andrew's much more pressure heavy in this fight, man. He's, Vasquez is taking advantage of that with knees up the middle, but nice head kick there. Usually Andrew, the, the Andrew we see is a, is a guy that moves, stands on the outside, has a kind of a karate stance. You see it here, it's a little bit more wide and, and, and you know, that does leave his lead, uh, lead leg open for, for, for leg kicks, but this fight he's just been pressure, pressure, pressure. And Vasquez is doing a good job of keeping him, sort of, not really keeping him off of him, but hopefully getting his respect. He has been dominating kind of the lion's share oh, of, uh, of when they come together. Dude. Insanity thus far. And let's see, Vasquez is going to opt to sit down. See, it looked like he wanted to, oh, he is going to, okay. And the ref having a word with Vasquez, I think about keeping it above the groin what it seems like anyways. Yeah, it looks like we have another, just a reminder of the fact that we are, this is a kickboxing match, not an MMA match. 
I imagine, though, it's easy to kind of maybe get a little carried away in there sometimes. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're uh, used to competing across the different disciplines. I also think it's just a little bit of the nerves probably playing a, a, a small part in that. I mean, we have a pretty loud crowd really filled in as the night progressed. So these guys are probably, like you mentioned earlier, with the adrenaline dump, you guys are probably feeling it. And the dump should be coming soon. We'll see. See if the second round is the adrenaline dump we were talking about. Oh, nice front kick. Nice head kick. I gotta say, Vasquez is really good at throwing low, uh, uh, excuse me, close range uh, kicks and stuff of the like. Doesn't seem to have a problem getting his uh, very fantastic flexibility getting his legs up there. Almost takes the ref down there. Yeah, the ref is stumbling back there. Ref is earning his money tonight. <laughs> Again with the ref. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was a nice spinning back kick. Didn't From really the hit the kick. target, but really, yeah. he got it up there. He grazed him a little bit. Interesting combination to throw, though. Nice head kick. Ooh. Was that a stumble there from that head kick? Or I, think that I, I think it was. Get a little sweat over on us over here. Yeah, really. I don't know what. I think it's just repeated. Repeated warnings from the ref that. here to not go below the belt. Nice little jab. And he's oh. oh my god, that's that's a stumble. That's a stumble from Vasquez. He's hurt. He's gonna clinch up instinctually. Andrew be wise to, to uh, pressure now. As he's just lighting Vasquez up here. I mean, I, I don't really don't know. Like if, even if someone did get stunned, it's really hard to tell how they would respond because it's just been a a brutal back and forth thus far. I, you know what it is? I don't think it's below the belt. I think it's just knees in general in the clinch. I think the, the ref has been just telling him to keep it down to a minimum. I do believe that Andrew here has much, he's a lot more energy still towards the end of the round. Yes, I think Vasquez, I think it's safe to say he's starting to gas. Yeah, Andrew is still just kind of operating at this frantic level. Yeah, well, Andrew, one thing that uh, that we haven't seen from him before is this type of style where he pushes forward constantly. Again, usually he's pretty apt to just sit on the outside, use that karate-type stance. But this fight, I mean, credit to him. He took his game up a notch, and he said, I'm going to come right at this Vasquez guy, and I'm going to show him what's for. And up next here, we have the two uh, women fighting in the kickboxing bout. Yeah, I believe absolutely. the only two women on this card, so. I think it is. Felicia has fought for the RFC. I believe she fought three times now. Yeah. One time she did fight Fernanda. Um, I know one time Felicia was supposed to fight, and I, I remember her, her her opponent missed weight by like 12 pounds. Jeez. So Felicia's coach was like, no, nah, I'm not feeling that. So they pulled out of that one, but it's really great to have her back on the card tonight. Oh, absolutely. We'll be looking forward to that one. All righty. Here we go, beginning of the third round. Ref again, <laughs> reminding them. Oh. He, he, you know what? He's opened up every round with that front kick. Yeah, that one looked oh like God. a landed, though. That was like some toes right to the face. Oh, the ref. Oh, my God. Oh, he's deducting a point from Vasquez. Oh, wow. He's deducting a point. Okay. Do you know what that point is being deducted for? I think that's for – it's either for knees below the belt or just knees in general. I think he throws too many. I'm not sure. I'd have to – Wow. Oh! Ooh, landed that left hook flush. And, and just a, a devious pace. You see Andrew starting to slow down a little bit here now, but he's still pressing forward. Nice head kick from Vasquez. Vasquez digging in uppercuts from the clinch. Nice knee up the middle again. That knee is really, I mean, if he wins this fight, 
Oh my God, that knee and that front kick have been doing him dividends. I think both fighters are just kind of gassed out now, tired as they should be. They've been fighting at incredible pace this entire, entire fight. Yeah. Andrew looked like he's feeling those knees. Oh yeah. And credit, listen, credit to Vasquez because you know Andrew started out with a lot more steam in his sails or the wind in his sails, and he's been able to essentially slow him down and kind of keep him off. Him. You can see Andrew loaded up a little bit on that right, trying to get that right in there. Yeah, and then Vasquez does a good job of kind of intercepting that too and throwing yep. that hook or kind of clinching up. Ten seconds left in this fight. It'll be interesting to see with the point deduction how this fight works out. Yeah, I don't, I really, I don't know. I, I don't, uh, I'm not sure through each of these type of, <laughs> these these little parts of the fight where these guys clash together, how that's gonna play into the uh, to the decision. Steve's got the, the judges' cards here, so he knows, and we do not yet, what the outcome of this fight is gonna be. You, you're right though, I mean, it might, the point deduction might play into this, we don't know. Let's see, we got Steve over here in the cage. If there was any chance that Andrew had won that round that Nick got the point deducted, this could be interesting. Yeah, big time. And interestingly, no show of respect after the fight. I'm sure they'll touch him up after, but for now, you know. I think it was just the pace of that fight that got them off. You know, kind of tired here. All righty, and in a moment, we will throw it over to Steve. It looks like I, he's still trying to find the judges' scorecards there. They, uh, judges might be filling out their scorecards. The judges might be as confused as we are. We, I, <laughs> I don't know. Just kind of waiting here. All right. And we are going to wait a couple seconds, wait a couple more seconds, wait a couple more seconds, multiple more seconds, just a few more seconds out. I, I Honestly, I think these, <laughs> oh, there you go, okay. They're handing it over. All right, we're going to throw it over to Steve now in the cage for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for your winner by way of majority decision and fighting out of the red corner, AJ Pudibor. All right. Oh. All right, looks like we got to show respect between fighters. I don't know if this is going to be a little bit weird type of tension there. I don't know what that was. I don't, I don't know if, if Andrew was saying something as he went to shake Vasquez's hand. I don't, okay, well then, the, yeah, there you go. There's a show of respect there. Oh, yeah. Just two guys getting after it, two warriors. All is fair in love and war. And I will probably go over and interview them in a moment, so I'll be back. All right, brother, have a good interview.